We just wanted to tell you that a couple of days ago, you might not have known this, but the YMC had revealed plans for a location on Elmwood Avenue. It's a 65,000 square foot, $30 million facility that is proposed to serve neighbors in the four, uh, 14207 zip code. So that's North Buffalo. Yes, and stepping in with us now is Danielle Roberts, the VP of Community Impact for the YMCA. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, yes. So thank you for being here. This is exciting news. What does this mean for the community? It's very exciting news um, for the community. It, it allows us to bring a more modern, accessible space to the city of Buffalo. It allows YMCA Buffalo Niagara to address some of the critical social needs of the community, mm -hmm. our health needs for the community. Um, it's really investing in the future for generations and generations to come. Yeah. And it's for everybody. It's not just for the kids. Well, we have our kids here with us for <laughs> Take Your Kid to Work Day. This is something that the entire family can enjoy, correct? Yes, the entire family. Um, if you look at some of the renderings that, that we're showing, um, there's a space for everyone. We're going to yeah. have an amazing aquatic center where children can learn the, the skill of swimming and safety around water, where families can come and take um, part in therapeutic aquatics fitness classes. There will be a state-of-the-art health and wellness center where we can address health issues within families. Uh -huh. There's going to be an intergenerational space where from children all the way to seniors will have community events, we'll have a STEM room, We'll have academic enrichment. Awesome. There'll be child watch programming and an adventure room. So it, the, the facility is going to be amazing and it'll really be something for everyone there. Yeah, and there will be a way for the community to participate in helping to make this happen, right? As far as uh, funding and donations? For sure. Our grand opening is really going to depend on the community support. And right now we have close to $12 million raised, mm -hmm. but it is a huge taking. It's a $34 million um, project. And so we, we need the entire community support. We're looking for local businesses, uh, foundations, government officials, and everyone to come in and support uh, this project. There will be naming opportunities. Um, so anyone who gives at a $200,000 level or above uh, will have an opportunity to either name a room or someone um, that is near and dear, a loved one you can name a space after. And even the entire facility, um, depending on the size of the donation, mm -hmm. there's opportunities there. And I know this is very early on in the process. You might have actually mentioned this already, but it might have just escaped me. Do you have a proposed date for when this will be available to folks? So our, our date has been moving, and that's due to the pandemic oh, um, sure. and the fundraising efforts. So it is really going to depend on the community support to get behind this. Uh, right now, as I said, we are close to $12 million mm -hmm. in. And so we would love to say that we're breaking ground in 2024. Uh, the, the site is already purchased, the land we do have right on Elmwood, just north of Hurdle. Mm -hmm. But we, we need the community to get behind it. So we're looking for funders and supporters. And anyone who is interested can certainly go to our website for more information about the facility, about how you can donate and how you can contribute to support this facility coming to the city. You know, through every stage of life, the YMCA can be utilized. And I love the fact that when, when I need to go and maybe just walk the track, there's childcare, there's swimming, there's, can you just reiterate to the community what this will mean for us? Because maybe, maybe someone listening hasn't experienced the YMCA. Just reiterate that because it really does help anyone at any stage of life. Yes, thank you, thank you for saying that because the Y prides itself on being a place that doesn't turn anyone away for an inability to pay. Mm -hmm. So it's not just membership to the gym, but anyone who wants to access the Y can access the Y and it's something for everyone from our children who are learning or children who are getting their first job at a YMCA mm -hmm. uh, or seniors who sometimes have social isolation. There are uh, social programs for seniors, whether it's silver sneakers and fitness or it's the pool. Everyone, mm -hmm. you know, loves coming to the YMCA. But this YMCA is really going to be critical for the city because it will allow the Y to address some of the health disparities and some of the needs to uh, combat food insecurity mm -hmm. um, for the city of Buffalo. You see, you know, bigger Ys out in the suburbs, but this is an opportunity for us to build a state-of-the-art facility right here in the city of Buffalo. So investing in this is not just investing in a facility, but it's investing in our youth, 
it's investing in our own health, yep. and it's investing in our community and our neighborhood. And you heard it from Danielle. Yes. The more you donate, the quicker you donate, the more quickly they can get yep. their doors open for our local exactly. community. Thank Danielle, you so thank much. you so much. And again, just quickly, if you can remind folks where you can make donations. So you can go to our website, which is ymcabn.org for information on giving to the capital campaign for the new Buffalo YMCA, or you can contact me directly. Thank All you right. so much. Thank Perfect. you. All right, kids, are you ready? Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Because up next, we find out more about fitness at the Y. Plus, we'll get our guests moving and grooving. Yes. You're watching AM Buffalo. <laughs>